gathering us together so that we can pray and intercede for our nation Kenya. Lord God Almighty we thank you because you gave us this day so that we can rejoice and be glad in it. We glorify your name. We worship you. You are so loving Almighty God. You are so good to us. We thank you because of giving us a good nation. Thank you because you have put us here Lord so that we can continue worshiping and glorifying your holy name. Today in Jesus' name, we are praying for Kenya North, Kenya South, Kenya East, Kenya West, and Kenya Central to have peace of God, to glorify God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. We are believing men and women, locals and foreigners that are living in this nation. They will adore God. They will confess of Jesus Christ as Lord. Men and women of this nation who live for Christ Jesus. We believe there will be a change. A great change in this nation. A move of fearing God. A move of loving God. A move of loving one another in Jesus' name. Thank you, mighty Father. With the authority that you have granted unto us, O oh God. We are praying for the healing of our economy in Jesus' name. Yes. We are he praying, oh my Father, in Jesus' name. Heal every family in this nation of Kenya in Jesus' name. Thank you, dear Master. We believe in Jesus' name. Every border of this nation will be peaceful. The security men and women that are there are taking care of the borders of the nation. We are covering them with the blood of Jesus. And we are believing that you are protecting them from all evils in Jesus' name. Help them to do well for you are on glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, dear Master, for the leaders, our President, oh my Father, and his family, bless him. Bless our President William Luther, almighty God. Give him sound mind and good health. Give them well to lead well in the nation. Thank you for his family. May you have mercy upon them. Thank you for our Deputy President, Lord God Almighty, Ligadiga Shagwa and his family. We pray that God Almighty, you protect them from all evils. We are praying that you continue encouraging them, Lord. Give them sound mind. Give them favor. Oh God, give them wealth so that they can lead well in Jesus' name. Answer the prayers they have made when they, they are leading the nation so that they can go far in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for the judiciary. Bless them. Let them work well. Let them hear the voice of the Lord. Security men and women in the nation of Kenya, we believe they are going to do well. Thank you, dear Master, for the civil servant. Lord, bless them and let them work and let them do the right things and let them obey the word of God and let them hear the voice of the Lord for your own glory, O oh Lord. The doctors and nurses and people in medics, Lord, those that are in going outside there, Lord, and they are not working. We are praying for their lives. And we pray that the Holy Spirit of God will intervene to these men and women. They may hear. Let them know it's a call. Let them obey the word of God. Jesus, we are praying that you intervene in their lives. Help them, O oh Lord, 
to do the work that you have called them to do, to look upon you in the name of Jesus, oh God, this day. We thank you. Thank you for Deliverance Church Ministry. We pray for Dr. Mark Karaoke, our general overseer, and Leverage Joyce Karaoke as they continue reading this ministry. Dear Master, we are praying. Give them sound mind. Give them long life. Give them wealth. Give them a revelation of the word of God. Oh, mighty Father, whatever they have asked from you, let them get a lot of wealth to read well. In the name of Jesus Christ, we salute them with the blood of Jesus. And as they share the word of God with the nations of the world, let them, Lord, leave a legacy that people can follow. Help us to follow. Help us to follow well so that we can get our blessings. Lord, we thank you for the people that are leading with them. Bless them mightily and glorify yourself in them. Help every pastor, every leverer, every reader in this great ministry. Let every one of us obey and do the work of God well. Thank you for house of bread. God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying that how we came in this room, how we came in this sanctuary, it is not the way that we are going to go home. Our lives will never be the same again. Those that are sick, I command healing in Jesus' name. Those that are poor, I command wealth in Jesus' name. Those that are dead in business, I command life in Jesus' name. And every one of us will go home, not the same again. In the name of Jesus. Those that are not saved, I command salvation in Jesus' name. Oh, God have mercy. Thank you for the people that are leading us in worship. Anoint them more. Give them new voices. Give them new songs. Give them new revelations. Lord, unite them together for your own glory. Let them dwell in you all the days of their life. Thank you for our ashes. Thank you for our instrumental people. And thank you for the media men and women. God Almighty, magnify yourself in them. Thank you, Jesus, for the members. We are going not to be the same again. Our ushers are going to do well. Our security men and women here, our protocol people, all oh God and the leaders, we are strong together and we continue glorifying and exalting the name of the Lord. We are going home, different people. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we believe. Amen. Clap for the Lord Jesus Christ. Please welcome our pastor to teach us the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody say, yeah. Yes. This is my day. This is my day. This is my season. This is my season. I was born for this season. I was born for this season. I am prepared for this season. I am prepared for this season. I am favored for this season. I am favored for this season. I am blessed for this season. I am blessed for this season. I am appointed for this season. I am appointed for this season. I am wired for this season. I am wired for this season. And my life, and and my life will never, will never, ever, ever be the same again. Be the same again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody say, my life, my life will never, will never ever, ever be the same again. Be the same again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And we shall rejoice and be glad Amen. in it. Amen. Buona sifia sana. The Bible says, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the pastor. Uh -huh. What that simply means is this. Amen. This morning, God spoke a word Amen. that gave you life. Amen. Therefore, you are not alive by accident. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody say, I'm not alive by accident. I'm not alive by accident. You are not alive by accident. Amen. God wants you to be alive. Uh -huh. It is God who has blessed you to be alive. Yes, sir. And what a blessing it is, it is to have you in the house of the Lord, uh -huh. to have you in the presence of the Lord. Uh -huh. yes. So I bring you an open prophecy uh -huh. that your lives will never be the same again. Amen. Your lives are not going to be the same again because God is going to bless you. Yes, sir. Many years ago, we used to sing this song. This is the day. This, this is the day that the Lord has been. be glad in it. Amen. Somewhere else the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yani when, you rejo when you rejoice in the Lord you become stronger. Yes, when you rejoice in the Lord you become stronger. Amen. And when you become stronger you can fight better. And if you can fight better you will get the victory. Yes. So when we rejoice in the Lord that is a way towards obtaining victory. Yes, we receive victory over everything every battle because life is a battle open the spend the life is a battle and you must be strong for the battle that is why i come to plead with you ladies and gentlemen let us learn to rejoice in the lord hata kama mambo haijakuwa mzuri in your disappointments continue to rejoice in the lord in your frustrations, continue to rejoice in the Lord. Turn around, turn around and wave at your neighbor with a smile even as you take our seat in the presence of the Lord. Turn around and wave at your neighbor. Hallelujah. 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 You learn, let's learn. Let us learn just to take life one day at a time and to rejoice in the Lord. Because I want you to know God cares for you. The Lord cares for you. Amen. I was told a story, a little story many years ago of a poor widow who called in a radio station. She called in a radio station and said, I am poor. I don't have food. I don't have anything to eat. I would like somebody to help me. And I'm praying God will touch somebody to help me. So, she said she's born again, she's a Christian, she loves the Lord, she trusts in the Lord, she's hoping in the Lord, but she doesn't have something to eat. So, there was one super rich man, super rich man, who was hearing that radio call, who was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. He was just rich. So, he went to the supermarket 
and they bought too much food. Akanunua vyakula nyingi, mafuta za kupika, akanunua mikate, akakuja nazo, akaficha mbele ya mlango huyo mama. Mama mzaa akafeka hapo mbele ya mlango wake. Mbele ya mlango wake. Alafu akafinya kengele huyo mama. Alafu akatoka kaenda akajificha kwa kwa maua kwa kichaka kijua, kwa, kwa hapo. Mama akatoka kwa nyumba akakuta mlango ma vyakula zimejaa hapo kwa mlango yake. Mama akafaraka sasa God you are a good God. I celebrate you Jehovah. What a wonderful God you are. You are a miracle working God. Thank you Jehovah. Thank you for remembering me. Thank you for coming through for me. Mama meruka ruka hapo mefurahi. Alafu huyo tajiri akatoka hapo kwa kichaka kamwambia unaona? Unaona? Mimi nawaambianga nyinyi watu kusema Mungu Mungu mla kwanga mmechizi. Sasa Mungu mwenye nasema kwa wapi? Si hivi vitu mimi ndio nimeleta. Na mimi hata huyo Mungu wenu mimi siamini huyo Mungu wenu. Lakini si mimi ndio nimeleta. Sasa unarukaruka unarukaruka nini? Na mimi ndio nimeleta hizi vitu. Hakuna Mungu, usikizeni hakuna Mungu. Huyo mama kamwambia Mungu ni mzuri. Mimi si kwai kujua. Mungu anaweza amrisha hata wajinga wanibariki. Si kujua Mungu anaweza amrisha wajinga wanibariki. Si mnajua Biblia inasema only a fool says in his heart there is no god. Mama akasema sikujua Mungu. Wa! Mama akapiga nduru kabisa akasema wa Mungu umenishangaza. Mpaka hata wajinga, wajinga kabisa kabisa kabisa. Wanaamrishwa na wewe na wanatii. That is the god that we serve. He can command even your enemy. Wale watu ambao wamekudharau. Mungu anaweza kuamrisha na wakakuleta baraka. Bwana asifiwe. That is how our God works. That is how. So, I am never ashamed to keep on urging you. Put your trust in the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord. Even in the midst of the confusion, in the midst of the frustrations, in the midst of the disappointments, furahia tu ya kwamba Mungu amekupatia uhai. Mungu amekupatia pumuzi. Mungu amekuwezesha kufika umbali huu. And it is for a reason. I started by saying and I want to say it again. You are not alive by accident. You are it is not by usiseme ni accident. Am usiseme wewe ndio mzuri sana. Ni Mungu tu amekunemisha. It's just the Lord who has shown you his grace. And because of that don't worry about anything about tomorrow today is good enough kesho kuna neno naambianga wale wanakujanga primarito counseling wale watataka kufunga maharusi na waambianga hivi we surely don't know what the future hold yani atujuangi we don't have an idea what the future hold but we know who holds the future we know who holds the future We don't know what the future will bring but we know who holds the future. So what do we do? We cling on him. Tunabakingi tu tumekuamia huyo that one who, who holds the future. Tunakwanga to be cling on him. So I would like to encourage you this morning cling on that God. Kutege me amokozi kwangu ta Mukabisa na kukuba
Bwana asifiwe. Don't you allow yourself to carry any burden. Don't carry any burden. Because if you carry burdens, utazeeka kabla ya wakati wako. Utazeeka kabla ya wakati wako. Usibebane mizigo. Maana ikienda mbaya unaiweka kando hivi unaendanga na maisha yako. Unaendanga na maisha yako. Bora Mungu amekunemisha bado uko hai unaendanga na maisha yako. Amekuwezeshwa na hizo kategoria kikombe ya chai asubuhi na ukakunywa ukakuja kanisa mambo nyingi unaachana nayo unaiweka yote miguni pa Kristo. Ukishaleta miguni pa Kristo wacha hapo. Muachie. Maana keneno linasema hivi cast all your burdens unto him. All all means what? All means all. Cast all your burdens unto him. Why? Because he cares for for you. Ukishaleta hapo na chananga tu. Ukishaombea tu umeiombea na chananga unaendanga na kana kwamba wewe hata haujui kwa sababu umefanya nini? Umeomba. Umepiga simu kwa Mungu. Na Mungu ame receive, amepokea simu yako. Mambo mengine yote unachanga Mungu wewe unaendelea na maisha yako pola pole pola pole. Na ukifanya hivyo baadaye ninafundishanga kwa shule ya maumbi na wengine wenu amjuangi. Hamshikangi kitu. Lakini wewe unamshikangi kitu. Lakini naweza nikawaambia hivi Mungu anajibingi maombi. Mungu anajibingi maombi. Mungu anajibingi maombi. Shida yenu tu ni moja. Mnatakanga ajibu yote kesho. Unamwaga yote kwake Mungu. Pele 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 yote. Alafu unataka ajibu yote lini? Kesho. Mungu afanyagi kazi hivyo. Miaka hii saa hizi miaka 25. 25. Na ndio naonanga maombi zenye niliombanga miaka 25 Mungu anajibu saa hizi. Na angalia anasema thank God I prayed. Thank God I prayed. Thank God I prayed. Na si kwa sababu atakuachilia tu hivyo. Ah ah mm, mm, mm. anakudumishanga. Anakudumishanga kwa wema wake anapoendelea kuyapanga majibu ya maombi yako. Ana hawezi kukuachilia ukae tu umekinyangalika ume, umeangaika tu hivyo hapana. Anakudumishanga mtu wake. Atakudumisha. Ile hali pande hili nyingine anayapangilia maombi yako. Pande hili nyingine anayapangilia maombi yako. Hiyo nimejua miaka 25 katika shule ya maombi. Najua. Najua kabisa najua. Kuna vitu zingine nazionanga tu saa hizi nasema wa wa hii ni kitu niliombea 25 years ago bwana. Inatimia saa hizi. Paka anasemanga thank God I prayed. Hiyo nawaambia hivyo ndio muelewe Mungu wa mbinguni hana dustbin ya maombi. Bora tu umeomba tosheka na unyamaze. Bora tu umeomba tosheka na unyamaze. Utaioni kikuja, kikuja kupiti kutimia. Kwa sababu ni Mungu mwaminifu. Watoto wetu wa Sunday school simameni haraka. Namkuja hapa. Kujeni hapa Sunday school teach children. Come here with the Sunday school teachers. Kujeni hapa. Come here Sunday school children and Sunday school teachers. Kujeni hapa. Ha, my champions. Hey, this one is my friend. Sasa. This one this two is my friend. Sasa. Ah, this one is also my friend. Mambo. Wow, this one is my friend. Mambo. Wow, this one is my friend. Good. This one too is Ah, nyinyi wote tu, nyinyi wote tu ni my friends wangu. Nyinyi wote, nyinyi wote. Mwenye aje salamia pasta kuja hapa. Kuja hapo salamia pasta. Mwenye aje salamia pasta kuja hapa. Wow. Ai mko wazuri. Na hii mikono yenu venye nakataabu, mtu anasikia tu ashinda amekusalamia. Mtu anasikia tu ashinda amekusalamia. Ai mko wazuri sana. Very beautiful children. Very beautiful children. Mko sawa. Nyinyi mko sawa. Nani mwenye aje salamia pasta? Oh, kila mtu amesalamia pasta. Vas. Nataka niwaombe alafu muende kwa Sunday school. Si ni sawa. Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. I bless these children. I bless these children. I speak your blessings upon them. These children are champions. These children are heroes. These children are superstars. They will achieve many things. Hii Nairobi itakuja kuwajua. Hii dunia itakuja kuwajua na kuwatambua. Manake na waunganisha na Mungu wa haya madhabahu. 
Mungu anayetenda miujiza kwenye haya madhabao ha watoto watakuwa watakuwa katika maisha yao na ufahamu wa kumjua Yehova Baba I commend them unto you and to the word of your grace which is able to build them up and give them an inheritance among those who are sanctified. Lord I thank and I bless you. What am I God you? I pray for the Sunday school teachers as they do this noble job. Use them for your own glory. Lord I thank and I bless you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Haya tembeni pola pola na teacher Ross. Tembeni pola pola mwana teacher Ross mwana Sunday school you are simply the best of the best. Nyinyi ni wazuri kabisa. While the children are going, let us appreciate my team, this wonderful team. Let us appreciate this wonderful team, wonderful people, wonderful and the best of the best. The best of the best in the city of Nyairofi. The best of the best in the city of Nyairofi. Nyairofi. Nyairofi is blessed to have this kind of singing team. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. So kabla niwaletee niwaletee neno nilikuwa nimealika masi ya kuja email sasa Sunday. Sasa nikasahau. Nikasahau. Unajua kuna kitu inaitangwa mental health. Mental health aki afya ya kimawazo. Jana nilikuwa nilikuwa kwa nyumba na rukaruka natafuta scissors makasi. Makasi. Sasa unaona hiyo makasi Iyo makasi nimekuwa nayo kabla sijaoa. When I was still alone. Na when I was alone kabla sijaoa, mahali pe nilikwanga naiweka, nilikwanga naikuta tu hapo. Mahali pe nilikwanga naweka, nilikwanga naikuta tu hapo. Alafu Mungu akanibariki nikaoa, nikapata watu hii. Sasa inakwanga hiyo makasi imekuwa kinyangarika kwa nyumba. Mmoja anachukua, naikuta iko jikoni kwa sengia jikoni. Nachukua narudisha penye nakaanga. Kesho nakuta imechukuliwa iko kwa bedroom. Nachukua narudisha penye nakwanga. Kesho naikuta iko kwa bed. Nachukua narudisha. Kesho naikuta iko juu ya TV. Sasa nikaamua pana hii hii haitakuwa poa. Wakana nikachukua nikaenda nikaficha. Nikaiweka mahali sasa penye hawata jua nikaweka hapo. Sasa kesho ninahitaji. Na nimesahau nilificha wapi? <laughs> Nimesahau nilificha wapi? Nimejificha. Sasa nikatafuta. Mento nafikiria gwendi nilikuwa nayo. Na nikachukua. Na nikasema nataka kuficha mahali penye wote wata ichukua wa CBC wakifanya vitu zao za CBC. Nikaficha mahali lakini nimesahau nilificha wapi? Na ndio nahitaji nifanyie kazi. Nilikuwa natembea na simama na shindwa. Kwani nilifichanga wapi? Na ni mimi nilichukua nikaficha. Ni nakafikiria, nikafikiria, ai mpaka nika give up. Nika give up kabisa. Nikasahau nikachana nayo. Sasa kama nimewachana nayo, nimejipa shughuli na endelea na vitu zingine, alafu ndio nikaikuta sasa mpumu. Ah, kumbe ni hapa ndio nilificha. So, pastor pia pastor usahau. Kuna vitu nyingi na tamaa nyingi ni seme na sahau. Hatu naweza nipatia announcement. Hata pasta nitangazie ina sahau. Na sahau. Sasa nyinyi kwa sababu nyinyi mabesta zangu ufanye ukasirike. Ufanye seme kwani pasta ni beba aje. Nilimwambia nitangaza sometimes ni kusahau tu. Na saa wingi na kwanga excited sana. Nimekuwa excited mpaka na sahau. Sasa kama last Sunday nilikuwa nataka Masi aimbe wimbo, nikasahau. Kumuita hapa na akakuwa amejitayarisha, amepeleka pale nyuma, iko ready lakini mimi nikasahau. Na yeye hakunikumbusha. Hakunikumbusha pasi si tunaimba. Sasa leo nikasema sitasahau, leo nitakumbuka. So Masi kuja. Come and sing, come and sing that song. Hebu tusikize mwingilisho wangu simama tu hapo kwanza. Waacha Masi atubariki na wimbo. Chukua hii microphone. Chukua hii microphone utubariki na wimbo. Nido kakiu goi ne kare adaru. Are amahota ne iro ne gai. Are amatuete matua kuroga ma. Na kiugo kia ma na kia odigu. Are amatuete matua kuroga ma. Na kiugo kia ma. Na kia odigu 
Hallelujah. That was beautiful. Let's appreciate her one more time. Let's appreciate her one more time. Hallelujah. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Mercy. Thank you for being patient and not getting angry last Sunday, and we've enjoyed the singing. May the Lord, you have a beautiful voice. Continue serving the Lord, and the Lord will show himself strong on your behalf. Amen. Now, I want us to go into the word of the Lord. So before we do, can't you appreciate my interpreter? I appreciate my interpreter, Evangelist Bert. Evangelist Martin Bert. Mubiri, mtumisho mungu kutoka, Bomet, Bomet, karibu na Naroko County. Na nashukuru mungu sana. Thank you so much, Martin. Thank you so much. I want us to get into the word of the Lord. We are reading from the book of Judges, chapter 11, verse 1. Kitabu cha wa muzi kumina moja kwanzia moja. Judges chapter 11 verse 1. Waamuzi 11. I'm talking to you on the subject in against all odds. Yeah, ninanena kuhusu ujumbe kinyume na matarajio. Against all odds. Kinyume na matarajio. Judges chapter 11 verse 1. The Bible says, Now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor. I like the way the Bible is written. The Bible is written in a very meticulous way. Very meticulous way. Judges chapter 11 talks about a man called Jephthah. So, verse 1, the first sentence in verse 1, mstari wa kwanza katika hiyo mlango wa kwanza, introduces Jephthah to us as a mighty man of valor. A mighty man of valor. That is typical of God. He sees the end from the beginning. And the beginning from the end. Jephthah did not really begin life as a mighty man of valor. That is not how he began his life. When you read on going downwards, the Bible then introduces us into the earlier life of Jephthah. That Jephthah was a mighty man of valor. But he was the son of a harlot. He was the son of a harlot. That portion over there introduces what we commonly know as the background. Each one of us seated here has a background. Every man and woman you see on the street of Nairobi we all have a background. Even you who is seated there, you have a background. <laughs> we all have a background. Each one of us has a background. Kila moja wetu tuko na pali tulitokea. But what I want you to know is this. Whereas you have a background. But I want you to know this. That God has a lot in store for you. So the mistake that you can never do. So is to allow your background to hold you hostage. The worst mistake you can never do is to allow your background to rob you of your future. There is something that God has in store for you. 
There is something that God has in store for you. But you are back background. The voice from your background. It is so strong. That you cannot hear. The voice of what God is saying about your future. That's two they cannot go together. Your background and your future they cannot go together. One must die for the other to live. Your background and your future they cannot go together. One must die for another to live. So the background it is what it is. Your background it is what it is. Your background it is what it is. Your background it is what it is. But your future it is amazing. Your future it is wonderful. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah Jeremiah 29 verse 11 Jeremiah 29 11 The Bible says For I know the plan I have for you For I know the plan I have for you For I know the plan I have for you for I know the plan I have for you. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you. And he says, For I know. For I know. For I know the plan I have for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, someone say, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for One me. One more time, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. Those of us who have built a house, yeah, you understand, unailewa. it did not begin as a house. Kama chumba. It only began as a plan. 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 And we would carry the plan. Na the pieces of paper. We would carry it into the Kiambu County government. We will get it to the Kiambu County government. Why? Why? Because we were looking for Kwa sababu unatafuta the approval. The plan. They would ask you, what is the plan? I have come here because I want to build a house. They would ask you, what is the plan? In other words, it did not begin as a house. It began as a plan. As the Bible says, for I know the plan I have for you. For I know the plan that I have for you. For I know the plan I have for you. It might not look like a good house now. It might not look like something good now. But the Bible says, For I know the plan I have for you. Somebody say, God has a plan for me. God has a plan Come for on, me. somebody say, God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. For I know the plan I have for you. Declares the Lord. And then he begins to explain about the plan. He says, The plan that I have for you, it is the plan to prosper you. He wants to prosper you. In other words, he's now explaining the plan the way the drawing is on the table you tell the engineer this is the master bedroom this is the living room so in the plan that God has for you 
kwako. Part of the plan is prosperity. Sehemu yake ni mafanikio. Ladies and gentlemen. Madada na mandugu. I came to declare unto you. Ninakuja kukiri. The prosperity is your portion. Ya ufanisi ni sehemu yako. Prosperity is your portion. Ufanisi ni sehemu yako. Prosperity is your portion. Ufanisi ni sehemu yako. Even if. Ibe atakama. There was no prosperity in your background. Hakukua na ufanisi ni mayako. Even if there was no prosperity in your background. Atakama hakukua na ufanisi mayako. But in your future. There is prosperity. Kutakuwa na ufanisi. Even if there was no prosperity in your background. Hakukua na ufanisi mayako. But in your future. Lakini hatima yako. There is prosperity. Kuna ufanisi. Let us prosper my brothers. So that we can ashamed the devil. Ili tuwaibisha shetani. Let us prosper my sisters. So that we can ashamed the devil. Ili tuwaibisha shetani. Let us prosper my brothers. So that we can ashamed the background. Tuwaibisha nyuma yetu. Let us prosper my brothers. So that we can ashamed the background. We can embarrass our background. Ili tuwaibisha mwanzo wetu. Don't allow your background. Usiruhusu mwanzo wangu. To hold you hostage. Kukuweka mateka. Don't allow your background. Usiruhusu mwanzo wangu. To hold you hostage. Kukuweka mateka. God has a plan for you. Mungu ako na mpango. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema. It is a plan. Ni mpango to prosper you. Kukufanikisha. I came to declare to you prosperity is your portion. Nimekuja kukukiria kwamba ufanisi ni sehemu yako. You will prosper in your businesses. Utafanikiwa kwa biashara. You will prosper in your finances. Utafanikiwa kihela. You will prosper in your families. Utafanikiwa kiuchumi. You will prosper in your education. Utafanikiwa kimasomo. You will prosper in your health. Utafanikiwa kwa afya. You will prosper around about. Utafukia fanikio. Because that is part of the plan that God has for you. Kwa sababu hiyo ni sehemu ya mpango ya Mungu kwako. For I know. Maana najua. The plan I have for you. Mipango ninayo kwako. It is the plan to prosper you. Ni mpango ya kukufanikisha. Hata kama kwa background wako hakuna prosperity. Hata kama kwenu the background there is no prosperity. But the future hatima yako must be process prosperous. Lazima ifanikiwe. Muta alisema hivi kwa social media. If I don't come from a rich family, if I don't come from a rich family, a rich family should come from me. If I don't come from a rich family, a rich family must come out of me. If I don't come from a rich family, a rich family must come out of me. That statement is all about the background. If the background is troubles, if your background is embarrassment, if your background is shame, but I came to declare unto you, you have a prosperous future. The struggles that your mother went through should no longer be your portion. The struggles that your fathers went through should not be your portion. The struggle that you went through, your children will not go through the same. The struggle that your parents went through, your children will not go through the same. Because God is setting you free from the bondage of your background. God is setting you free from the captivity of your background. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Bible says Jephthah. Jephthah bila inasema. Put on the screen we read part B of that scripture. It says this. Judges it says this his father Gilead. His father was Gilead. And his mother was a prostitute. Ay 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 ay. Sasa hapo ndio mambo iko bwana. Hapo ndio mambo iko. Hapo ndio mambo iko mtoto wa Kahaba. Hapo ndio mambo iko. Mtoto wa Kahaba. Hapo ndio mambo iko. That is the background bwana. Messi background. A very difficult background. Mwanzo ngumu sana. Nefta and Jephthah. Jephthah. He was a son of a prostitute. Mwana wa Kahaba. What a disturbing background. Ni mwanzo mbaya zaidi. What a disturbing background. Ni mwanzo mbaya zaidi. Just like you who is looking at me here. Kama wewe unayenitazama hapa. Your grandmother was a witch doctor. Babu nyanya yako alikuwa mtawa. Your grandfather was a witch doctor. Babu yako alikuwa mtawa. Your grandfather had three wives. Yeah, alikuwa na wake watatu. Your grandfather had four wives. Yeah, babu yako 
alikuwa na wake wane. Troubled back around. Yeah, mwanzo ambaye ni But I came to let you know. Lakini nimekutangazia. God has something special for you. Mungu ako na jambo la muhimu. God has something special for you. Mungu ako na jambo la kipekee kwako. The Bible says Jephtha. Jephtha bila inasema The father was called Gilid. Babake alikuwa anaitwa Gilid. A certain theological teacher has said. Wasomi wa Biblia wanasema Gilid Gilid huyu was the other name for Gideon. Ni jina jingine la Gideon. Gideon who we read in Judges chapter 6 or 7 there. Ambaye tunasoma hapo Who the Bible six. also introduces as a mighty man of valor. Alikuwa pia yeye ni shujaa. Gideon the Bible introduces Gideon as a mighty man of valor. Biblia inatuambia Gideon alikuwa ni mtu shujaa. So Gilid the Bible scholar says Gilid was the other name for Gideon. So Gilid anasema ni jina jingine lake ilikuwa ni Gideon. But that is not the point. Lakini hilo si malabu. The point is this. Kitu cha muhimu ni hii. The mother. Mamake. The mother for Ma- Jephthah was a harlot. Mamake alikuwa mkahaba. She was a harlot. Alikuwa kahaba. So verse 2 says this. Mstari wa pili anasema Verse two says this. Verse two says. Verse two says this. Gilead's wife. Sasa huyu Gilead. Ametoka kule nje, amepatana na Kahaba. Amempatia mimba. Amepatia Kahaba mimba. Kahaba kadhaa katoto kaboi. Katoto kaboi. Na sasa mnajua Kahaba you cannot domesticate a Kahaba. You cannot domesticate a prostitute. A prostitute you cannot domesticate a prostitute. Always welcome kahaba. What happens was she delivered a baby boy. Alijifungua huyu mtoto. She delivered a baby boy. Huyu mtoto mvulana. And they gave the father the baby. Na akampea babake. And they walked away. Na akaenda zake. Probably went back to do her business. Bibi alienda kwa biashara yake tu. And left the kaboy behind. Lakini kijana akabaki na With the father. Na babake. So this kaboy kako hapo the boy is here. Mvulana sasa yupo hapa. Then the father. Babake marries another wife. Akaoa mke mwingine. Then this wife the mother father marries this wife the right way. So alioa sasa huyu kwa njia inayofaa. He goes and he does the ruasio. Alienda kutoa mahari and he marries this wife. Na akamwoa huyu the right way. Mji kwa njia sawa. Then he begins getting children with this woman. Wakaanza kupata watoto na huyu mama. But Jephtha is here. Jephtha sasa yuko hapa. Jephtha is here. Yuko hapa. So as they grow, so akikua Jephtha recognizes Yefta akatambua that there was a difference. Nema kuna tofauti. There are the children who are of this normal family. Kuna fa- watoto wa familia hii ya kawaida. And then Jephtha is here. Alafu yeye pia yupo hapa. So all of you who are looking unto me, all of you here. Zizi yote ambao tunamtazama hapa. None of you is in this right family. Hakuna aliye katika familia hii ya. All of you you are Jephthahs. Jisi ni zote ni Jephtha. You are Jephthahs. Tuna ni kama Jephtha. Because all of you you have a background. Kwa sababu nyinyi mko na ile All of you come on somebody say I have a background. I have a background. All of you you have a background. Mko na mwanzo wenu. And if I begin to touch each one of you. Nikianza kuguzia kila mmoja. All of you you have very touch background. Mko na mwanzo ambaye ni ya kuzunisha. Very traumatic background. Yeah, ni ya ku ya ya ki kimiujizi. Very painful background. Ni ya machungo. Just like Jephtha. Kama huyu Jephtha tu. So the Bible says verse 3 continues to say. Biblia inaendelea kusema msaada. Verse 2 two, verse 2 two, verse two continues to say. Gilid wife bore sons. And when the, these sons grew up, they drove Jephtha out. You know the pain of rejection. Kukatalia uchungu wa kukatalia. The pain of rejection. Ile uchungu wa kukataliwa. The pain of rejection. Uchungu wa kukataliwa. The pain of rejection. Uchungu wa kukataliwa. When you are being rejected, ukikataliwa for a mistake that is not your own. Kwa makosa ambayo si yako. So what do they want me to do? Wanataka ningefanya nini sasa? Whether my mother who my mother was what do that what 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 should i do now mama ngo sasa yu papa nifanye nini my mother was a prostitute yes i agree Dia, but then what do i do ndio alikuwa kahaba mnataka nifanye nini but they drove him out 
wakamtupa and they said to him wakamwambia you shall have no inheritance in our father's house hautapata urithi katika nyumba ya baba why because you are a son of another woman kwa sababu wewe ni mtoto wa mama mwingine they use the word the son of another woman a polite language walitumia tu kwa kama njia ya adabu what they wanted to, what they were telling him was this wangemwambia tu hivi you are a son of a prostitute wewe ni mwana wa kahaba yani you have a messy background mwanzo wako ni your background does not entitle you to for anything mwanzo wako haikuruhusu upewe chochote you don't deserve anything haustahili chochote because your background is full of trouble kwa sababu mwanzo wako imejaa tu huzuni and they drove him out wakamfukuza vasuri now mstari wa 3 then the bible says then jephtha fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of tob You know let me tell you this my friends nawaambia hili ndugu zangu not all rejections are poisonous kukataliwa sio zote ni mbaya not all rejections should make you cry sio kukataliwa zote ni itakufanya ulie some rejections as painful as they are sasa zingine ukikataliwa ni machungu ndio but they can become a wake up call for you lakini itakuwa mwanzo mpya kwako some rejections also they are painful ingawa kukataliwa kwingine ni machungu but they are a wake up call for you lakini ni mwanzo mpya kwako jafta was rejected jafta akafukuzwa and it was painful na ni uchungu kweli And the Bible says he fled from his brothers. I am here to let you know my friends. When a relationship becomes toxic. When an environment becomes toxic. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Walk away, walk away. When the environment becomes toxic. Walk away, walk away, walk Fadali, away. Tafadali ondoka. The Bible says Jephthah fled. Jephthah akatoroka. From his step brothers. Yeah, na atakatoroka ndugu zake. And they went to the land of Tob. Akakaa katika mji wa Tob. The Bible says this. Na Biblia akasema, and the worthless men na watu baradhuli. Let's see how King James says it. Verse 3 King James. No no NIV. Vasture and IV Vasture and IV Skiza what NIV says NIV says so Jephthah fled from his brothers and settled in the land of Tob where a group of adventurers gathered around him and followed him a group of adventurers kikundi cha watu baradhuli a contemporary bible scholar says this were typical hustlers ni watu ambao hawana mbele wala nyuma people who had nothing to lose nothing to gain hawana cha kupoteza wala cha kupata another version calls them worthless men ni watu ambao hawana chochote another version calls them the riffraffs wale ambao ni ni kama takataka tu they gathered around him walikujikusanyika naye and they followed him wakaandamana naye sasa unaona can you see how god works Anana yes this one fun. says a riffraff mm-hmm. some riffraff joined him and they went around with him riffraffs but what are the message here is this ujumbe ni hii he was rejected from his father's house alikataliwa kwa nyumba ya babake but some other people found him a leader They saw a leader in him. Lakini watu wengine wakaona kiongozi kwake. Another group of people they saw a leader in him. Kikundi cha watu wengine wakaona uongozi What that simply means is this. Hii inamaanisha nini? When, when, when people reject you. Watu wakikukata please don't reject yourself. Usijikatae wewe mwenyewe. Don't reject yourself. Usijikatae. Those who rejected you. Wanao kukataa Don't mind about them. Usijali na wao. There are people somewhere. Wa kuna watu mahali fulani. What God has prepared for you. Ambaye Mungu amekuandalia. There is a group of people somewhere. Kuna halaiki kikundi cha watu. What God has prepared for you. Ambaye Mungu amekuandalia. Who are going to come to you? Ambao watakujia. They are going to come to you. Watakujia. And they will smell the anointing of a leader. Na wataona uongozi ndani yako. And they will smell the fragrance of God around you. Watanusa ile sehemu ndani yako 
take the anointing of God with you. Na watafanya ile upande wa Mungu ndani yako. They will be willing to follow you. Na watakuwa radi kukufuata. They will be willing to follow you. Watakuwa radi kuandamana nao. They will be willing to do anything you want them to do. Watakuwa radi kukufanyia chochote. They will recognize the hand of God upon your life. Watatambua mkono wa Mungu juu yako. They will recognize what God is doing in your life. Watatambua kile Mungu ametenda maisha yako. So when people reject you. Kwa sababu watu wakikukataa. Do me a favor. Nifanyie tu kitu. Don't reject yourself. Usijikatae. Don't reject yourself. Usijikatae. Don't reject yourself. Usijikatae wewe mwenyewe. Allow God to continue working in your life. Ruhusu Mungu afanye kazi maishani mwako. The Bible says. Biblia yakaendelea kusema. They followed him. Wakamfuata. They were willing to follow him. Walikuwa radhi kumfuata. Although they had nothing. Ingawa hawakuwa na kitu. But they knew. Lakini walijua. If we follow this man. Tukimwandamana huyu ya mtu. Our lives will never be the same again. Maisha yetu hayatabaki vilivyo. If we follow this man. Tukimfuata huyu mtu. Our lives will never be the same again. Maisha yetu hayatabaki vilivyo. What we call. Kile tunaita. The benefit of following. Faida za kufuata the benefit of following faida za kufuata there is a statement i like to say and i want to say to you kuna nakala napenda kusema na nataka kuambia that goes transformative agenda ya harakati za mungu za kukubadilisha normally takes effect in your life inafanyika maishani mwako the moment you begin to follow wakati utaanza kumfuata the moment you allow yourself to follow ukijiruhusu kumfuata that god begins to transform your life anaanza kugeuza maisha god begins to transform your life God begins to do something in your life. Anaanza kufanya kitu maishani. God begins to, to, to beautify you. Anaanza kukuremesha. God begins to glorify himself in your life. Anaanza kujitukuza kwako. God begins to manifest his goodness in your life. Anaanza kudhihirisha ugumu wake ndani yako. Transformative agenda. Ukubadilishwa kwa Mungu. Commences in your life. Ndio ifanye kazi maishani mwako. At the point you begin to follow. Ni wakati utaanza kumfuata. Benefits of following faida za kumfuata when you follow ukimfuata the goodness of the lord will also manifest in your life uwema wa mungu utajidhihirisha ndani maishani mwako so when you read the book of judges chapter 11 downwards kwa hivyo ukisoma waamuzi 11 pale chini you realize jephtha utagundua yefta transformed into a mighty warrior aligeuzwa akuwe shujaa wa vita he transformed into a mighty warrior aligeuzwa akuwe shujaa wa vita and god used him na mungu akamtumia to serve the nation of israel kumtumikia nchi ya israel he became a ruler in israel alikuwa kiongozi wa israel can you see somebody who has a bad background yule mtu ambaye mwanzo wake ulikuwa mbaya but he becomes a great leader in israel lakini sasa amekuwa kiongozi mkuu israel what this simply means is this hii inamaanisha nini your background cannot hinder you mwanzo wako haitakuweka unless you allow it na na ukiruhusu unless you allow it labda tu iruhusu but if you get your eyes from your background ukitoa macho yako and look unto jesus na utazama mahatima ya mungu and say i want to follow jesus useme nataka kumfuata yesu i want to follow jesus nataka kumfuata yesu something new will happen in your life kitu kipya kitatendeka maishani that shall glorify the lord ambayo itamtukuza bwana let us stand up on our feet hallelujah rakabu zakala mushandala bo rikalabu zakala mama shandala bo lift up your hands let's lift up our hands and just worship the lord just tell god thank you lord thank you for the transforming power of god that is at work in my life rikalabu zekerebo shandala bo rikalabu zakala bo yendele bo zekerebo Rekalabo zakala mama yanarabo Rekalabo zokorebo sakala mama yanarabo I break from the past I break I break from my background I break from my background I break I break I say lens every voice from my background I say lens every voice from my background in the name of Jesus Rekalabo zekerebo sandalabo Rekalabo zokorebo sandalabo Rebo zakala bo yenderebo zekerebo Rekalabo zakalabo sandalabo Thank you dear Lord thank you dear Lord Hatima yetu Thank you dear Lord 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 Hallelujah You are worthy Jehovah Thank you Lord Jehovah. 
Father, I thank you for your people. I silence every voice from the background. Every voice from the background. I silence it right now. Every background altar. I silence it right now. I release your people to walk into the blessings that you have prepared for them. Thank you, dear Lord. What a mighty God you are. Let your name be glorified, Jehovah. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody put your hands together for the Lord. Let us celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let me ask you this. Are you here and you're not born again? Are you here and you're not born again? I want to pray for you. Come on, come on. Just lift up your hand. Lift up your hand if you're here and you're not born again. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you that the Lord will, will, will break the background, set you free from the hostage, set you free from the chains of your background so that you can walk in the blessing that the Lord has for you. Oh, we are all born again. So lift up your right hand and say, thank God I'm born again. Thank God I'm born One again. One more time, thank God I'm born again. Thank God I'm born One again. One more time, thank God I'm born again. Thank God I'm born again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome. Take your seats. I want you to I request you to take your seats in Jesus' name. Then somebody say, My life, my life will never, will never ever, ever be the same again. Be the same again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. That was the word of the Lord for you. That was the word of the Lord for you. That was the word of the Lord for you. Amen. 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 You walk in that word. Don't allow your background to hold you hostage. You are a mighty man of valor. You are a mighty woman of valor. And the Lord is going to work wonders in your life for his own glory. Amen. So ladies and gentlemen, it is giving time. It is time to worship the Lord with our substances. Yeah, celebrate the Lord, celebrate the Lord. It is time to worship the Lord with our substances. Come on, somebody say poverty. Shame on you. You are under my feet. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus gave you the final blow. He became poor that I might be rich. Therefore, I am a good tither. I am a cheerful giver. I believe and support the vision and the dream of this house. And I love my pastors. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. In this church, we believe in 100% tithe and 100% tithers. So I request to all of us, let us be faithful tithers. We have several options that you can use for your giving. We have a pay bill number 525107. And then we have, then we have, the equity bank pay bill number 247247. The account, it is our church's bank account. The account is our church's bank account. And that bank account, is, it is on the screen, and it is also on this, on this envelope. It is also on this envelope. Another option, you can do a direct bank transfer from your bank account to our church's bank account. You can do a bank transfer from our church's bank account to, to, to your to, from your bank account to our church's bank account. Checks are payable to Deliverance Church LCCI. Checks are payable to Deliverance Church LCCI. And then at the back, at the bash, at, at the usher's desk, we have a PDQ machine. You go there with your ATM card, and the ushers will assist you through the transaction. They'll give you two receipts. One receipt is for your record, and another receipt you bring, you put in an envelope and bring it in front here. Every transaction you do with your M-Pesa, kindly forward the message to Bishop's number, it is on the screen. Forward the confirmation message to the Bishop's number that is on the screen. We have prepared these envelopes with, to help you for your givings. The green one, it is for our normal giving. This one is for our children. And I request the parents to be using this to package offerings for your children and tie this for your children. This one is for thanksgiving. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And then this one, it is called the prophet's honor sacrifice. 
you sacrifice, you give a seed to the bishop to connect with the grace of God that is at work upon the life of our bishop. And your life will never be the same again. If you need an envelope, lift up your hand. If you need an envelope, lift up your hand. If you need an envelope, lift up your hand. Amen. I lift up your offering, we make our declarations. You know, just a declaration to find your to find your vita to say my man and to your vita. Come on, somebody say, buy my tithe. I declare the devourer bound out of my resources. By my tithe, I declare that Jesus is alive in my resources. By my tithe, I declare the devourer bound out of my resources. By my tithe. I declare the windows of heaven open for me. The, windows of heaven. the provisions of God. The provisions of and God. the abundance of God. And the abundance of God is my portion. Is my portion. The favor of God. The favor of God opens doors for me. Opens doors. For the me. wisdom of God. The wisdom of leads God me all the way. Leads me all the way. Therefore, therefore, I will not lack. I will not lack any good thing. Any good thing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. I welcome you to bring your offerings, your tithes and your offerings. I request our pastor, Reverend Jane, to hold this basket for me. And the other one, our pastor, Ifanta Skauma, to hold this basket for me. And then from the back, from the back, from the back, let's come, let's come from the back, from my right and my, let's just come right away and bring our givings unto the Lord. Amen.
sana. Wacha tupatie kwa ya yetu makofi. Thank you, thank you choir. We are proud of you and thank you for good presentation. Uh, pia wacha tukaweze kupigia Yesu makofi kwa sababu ya neno ambao tumepokea. We really appreciate our pastor and the passion to preach and to give us the word. Let's continue to pray for him. Sindio? Yeah, we pray for him that God will continue to use him. Uh, I want to welcome our first time visitors. Uh, my name is Ephantas Kauma Nimeokoka, and I'm here to give the announcements. If you are here, this is your first time to come and fellowship together with us at the House of Bread. Let me see by a show of hand. Inua tu mkono, tukukaribishe. Hii ni omara yako ya kwanza kuja kwa ibada yetu. House of Bread. Inua tu mkono. Tunakupenda. Na tulikuwa tumetajitayalisha kupokea wageni. Just lift up your hand. Pande hii tukona wageni. Pande hii tukona wageni. Na pande hii. Ah, leo hatuna wageni. Situ karibisha wageni next Sunday. Wacha tukaribishe wageni next Sunday, wageni ni Mbaraka na wacha tupigia Yesu makofi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, wakati unaona unatembelewa na mgeni unajua kwamba uh, kuna kitu kizuri kinatendeka. Eh? Wameogopa. Wako? <laughs> Uh, waja tukaweze ukaribisha wageni. Uh, yeah. um, we have a few announcements we want to make. And uh, number one is the DOF conference which is coming from 16th to 19th. That is from Tuesday. All the ladies, all the ladies, we have our national conference which is in, at Kaprak University from 16 to 19th. Uh, there was an announcement from your cheerleader in the, uh, in the first service. Now, the charges is 5,500. And there is a request also to us as men. Let us also sponsor, let us support our daughters so that they can be able to attend that conference. In those conferences, lives have been changed, and I can attest to that. So let us uh, support our ladies uh, to go for this conference. Number two, we have Akesha, that is on uh, 26th. Iyo nire sa Friday ingine, wacha inakuja. The other Friday, we have Akesha, here at the House of Bread, that is a family Kesha. And we are requesting all of us to be there so that we can pray together. Then to all the men, to all the men, because I'm the chair of the men, let me see all the men. Wale wanaume wato wako hapa. Ebu tusimame tafadhali. Tusimame, tutusimame, tu kwa heshi makubwa. Kwa heshi makubwa. Wanaume wote, wanaume wote. I want to make this passionate uh, announcement and passionate plea for men. Because on Saturday, in Akuja 20th, we have an activity to go and hike Gong Hills. To go and hike Gong Hills, to realize Yakwamba, this is the year of threshing mountains. Na tukasema hii ndiyo mulima tutaenda kupanda. It will be prophetic. As we hike the mountain, we are also going to thresh our mountains. Zili ambazo tukonazo kama wanaume. Na ningetaka tu kuwaomba wale wote muko hapa. Wacha tukaweze kuichukua ni fenti yetu. Kwa sababu wakatu nakutana na kamati. Tukipanga mambo ya activities. Ini activity moja tuliona ya kwamba itatureta pamoja. It's an activity which we call team building activity. Whereby tutatembea pamoja, tukimaliza Gong Hills, 
tulisema ya kwamba hatutarudi mahali tulitoka tutaenda na tutokee kule kona baridi then tutazunguka tukuje enyorata that is kesarian enyorata church tumepewa ground pale na reverend rumba mahali tunaweza kukutana kama wanaume we take our lunch together alafu we can be able to have one or two activities and then tunaweza kurudi hapa the charges in 1500 which includes entrance fee transport and food kwa hivyo ningeomba tu sisi wale ambao tuko hapa tukaweze kujikakamua tukaweze kutoa hiyo pesa tukaweze kwenda kwa hiyo gong hills hiking bwana asante sana we are talking to reverend rumba na akaniambia kwamba hata wanaume wake anawamobilize leo ndio tukue pamoja na wao on saturday na akaniambia kwamba yeye atakuwa pia available for us that that that, that friday kwa hivyo waja tukaweze pia kuonyesha kwamba tuko wengi and i was also telling the ladies in the first service nyinyi wana eh, ladies najua mko na vijana you have men young men ambao mko nao kwa nyumba you know we have been talking about uh, boy child uh, mentorship this is a good moment because this is napanga ya kwamba hata tukipanda kule we will be talking to our young men so that we can be able to work together kwa hivyo mnaweza kuwalipia tumesema if your son is 15 years and above how ndio tunaweza kwenda pamoja nao wale wa ndogo acha wabaki because tukienda nao tutawebeba tena tukirudi so na itakuwa ni, kam, ni muzigo so 15 years and above waja tukaweze kuwalipia tuweze kwenda pamoja bwana asiwe sana so wanaume tutafanya hivyo si event ni yetu ninawapenda i'm your chair so know that at least whatever you are planning it is for our good and let no man be alone at the house of bread usikue peke yako in event ya kutuleta pamoja so let us pay for that, that money chini pale after the service tutakuwa tunafanya registration na tunaweza pia ku, ku, kupatia nafasi ya kukwambia aziri ambazo vitu tutakuwa nazo kwa hivyo pale chini tukiteremka mtanipata pale we'll be able to talk together thank you god bless you i love you and we value you at the house of bread asante now our weekly meetings they are usual uh, on mondays we have our 3 hours intercessory prayers that is as from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and on tuesday we also have a one prayer meeting one hour prayer meeting that is from 5 to 6:30 p.m. thus this we have holy communion service you can follow us on one accord tv or on our social media platforms that is from 8 15 to 9 p.m then on friday we we have a meet we have around the altar youth bible study here at the house of bread that is from 6 p.m then on saturdays we have our evangelism uh, where we normally go and witness for christ so we normally meet here in the morning and then we can be able to go out for evangelism then on sundays we can be able to uh we can be able to uh, uh, allow members who would like to uh, to be members of the house of bread if you are here you would desire to be a member of the house of bread uh you can give your name at the uh, the assash desk then we can uh, plan one uh, we can give you a Sunday when you can be able to go for those uh, training uh, to be a member of the house of bread and also maybe if you are here you desire to be discipled we also have discipleship classes yeah after our services so thank you so much those are our announcements uh i don't know whether i've uh kuna ingina ni mesahau huh majestic school majestic school that lady akobado ama ayuko 
Now, in the first service, to recall na a lady was in charge of the school at Majestic City, and uh, we are starting a school because that is, has been the vision of our, our father. And uh, this school is starting in the month of May. In the month of May, they are going to start with the preschool. Uh, so if you would like to join, Amma, you have a child, you'd like to join the school, uh, you can be able to give your name to our pastor. You can be able to give your name to our pastor, and then at least we can be able to know we, we are working together. All the people who are around Majestic City, Utawala, uh, along Kanguda Road, you can be able to enroll in that school. So we had the lady who is championing in the first service, and she expressed it so well that at least this is a school which will have a difference uh, in, in the lives of our children. So just know that, and please enroll your children. So God bless you, and thank you very much. I want you to stand up so that we can be able to close our service. Leo midi onita waombea, wana swe sana. Na nitaachiria mbaraka. Zetu, wana swe sana. Let's close our eyes and let's lift up our hands. Mighty and everlasting God, I thank you for your children this afternoon. Thank you that God Almighty we have received your word today. And your word, God Almighty Father, it is water. It, it cleans, it cleanses our spirits and our minds and our lives, oh Father. The seed that has been planted today, God Almighty, let it produce fruits, oh God Almighty. Let it germinate in our hearts, God Almighty. And Father, we thank you because of your servant, oh God Almighty. Thank you for the word that you have given to him, Lord. And we pray that God Almighty, you may continue, Father, to uh, strengthen his life, oh God, and continue, Father, Lord, even to uplift him together with his family in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. As these people, God Almighty, Father Lord, leave to go to their various homes, God, I pray for your blessings over their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And as I stand upon this altar, God Almighty, I release your blessings over their lives in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. May whatever they touch to do, God Almighty, Father, prosper in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Jehovah Father. May your face shine upon every one of them, God Almighty, that throughout this week, God Almighty, they are going to walk on your open doors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you bless their water. May you bless their food, God Almighty. May every need, God Almighty, be met, O oh Lord, to the glory and honor of your name, Jehovah Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift up your name and we bless you, Jehovah Father, because we pray this in the name of the, of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and we will say amen. amen. And now may the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Go in the peace of the Lord.